welcome to Wrestling in Mom's Basement. This is the special edition of the WrestleMania Supercard of Honor and NXT TakeOver New Orleans. I, of course, am Patrick Young. This guy to my right has a thousand and ten nicknames. Joe Venuta. Uh, this is the Ring of Honor. We're going to kick things off with the Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor prediction. So let's just jump right in. With it. First, we have the Woman of Honor title. Semi-finals and finals. First semi-final match, Kelly Klein versus Mayu Itwane. Pat? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with Kelly Klein. Uh, Just because I know her. Uh, Kelly's a... I, from the law, I do know how Kelly's a woman that they put a lot into. Yes. With the company, she's one of the original what, girls. Um, we're going to set the operators on that number. Uh, by the way, sorry. Uh, uh, I think she was on the feed for over 500 days, I think she's been, or was, uh, not anymore. Uh, Elmash, Sumi Sakai versus Tamiel Dashwood. That, that's what, uh, Kelly Klein's my pick, by the way, that's not mine. Um, I, I do want to say Emma, just because I think they would want a bigger name, at least in the finals for the tournament. However, I'll, I'll go with the face here. I'll say Sumi. Okay, so I'm a face. Uh, oh, Emma is a face. Yes. I thought she was a heel. Russell Brandy. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll go with uh, Tennille, FKA Emma. You don't bring Tennille in to lose a 46 year old woman, Emma. Or Tennille. Ah! Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, and I guess the finals will will decide before bell before the bell rings. We can do the finals, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, six more wrong, since they don't have a graphic for the finals. Yeah, it's true. The whole time tournament is one graphic. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go with Kelly Klein. If Tennille has a sign a deal, then uh, then I would say I want to say Kelly. So uh. She's not a great performer, but she's better than Mandy. Yes. You know, so there's that. Uh up next, Tomohiro Ishii versus Punishment Martinez and uh, New Japan versus ROH Trash. Um You see, from from all the shows that, that I've seen from Ring of Honor and New Japan together, generally the New Japan guy wins. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm gonna continue that trend. I'm gonna go with uh, Ishii. Yeah. Uh I I do like Punch with Martinez from the little I've seen of him. I do like him too. But no, Ishii. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm just gonna go. Um. Yeah. yeah. Uh, up next, uh, Kobushi versus Adam Page or Hangman Page. Um. I'm gonna go. With uh, Ibushi. Okay. Just because I think it's definitely in this run, it's one of Ibushi's first, so they probably want to at least give him a couple wins. Well, I do love the always bring in Ibushi for the show, so. Yeah. Uh, he had a great match with Cody this year at uh, Wrestle Kingdom. 12. Uh -huh. Did you say this year at Wrestle Kingdom? Uh, the reunion of the Golden Lovers. Right? Yes. Oh, I got the favorite. Uh, then he, him and, um, Kane just had a match of your contender with the Young Bucks at Strong Style of uh, two weeks ago. Now, so, uh, but since Adam Page is part of the Bullet Club, which also makes him New Japan, that means he's one of ROH, New Jap he, he would, if he just put over, it's not just an ROH guy being put over. Uh, and with the whole story I'm making, I'll, uh, I'll go with Hangman for this one. Uh, up next. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just learning this card as we go along. <laughs> so, excuse me. Uh, ROH Tag Team Champions, the Briscoes versus Jay Lethal, and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Um. I'm gonna go with, uh, Lethal and Tanahashi. Uh. For the championship? Yeah, for the championship. Okay. 
Uh, just because I don't think you burn. I don't. I think Jay Lethal should be considered much higher, and they might want to put him back there. Uh, oh, and at least get another. Uh, I'm trying to find the right word, word here. Uh, like another achievement to put to his name before raising him back up. Uh, I believe Tanahashi was the first person to announce the card from New Japan. And I, I, by the looks of it, he was the last one booked. That went in a match. Unless it's completely friendly to gather a tag team with him and Gleeful. Ah, uh, the. Well, you know how Lizard Man is. Delirious. Yeah. Ah. Uh, the, the Briscoes just won the belts at the 60th anniversary show. There's no reason why they should lose the belts. So I'm going to shift to you. Yeah. I pick Lethal Tanahashi. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm still going to go with Lethal Tanahashi. If you know, just be different and spite you. If you know I deal with with the with the, with the the staff on this podcast. <laughs> or... Oh! Uh, <laughs> Six Sixty eight tag team titles liar match. Five years, I think I knew about this match. Ah, uh, Chafee is SoCal Uncensored versus Foot Gore and the Young Bucks. Um. I'm gonna go with uh, SoCal Uncensored. Uh, they just won the titles. And to use your logic for the last match, Flip and Young Bucks are. They're not as thrown together, but. Storyline wise, they are sort of thrown together. The young bucks are set there. It's not firm to come. Yeah, but they're, they're not. They haven't been a team beforehand, is what I'm saying. But it's not firm to go. He'll believe Jim's still got one. Uh, I think it's too early in the SoCal and Censor sort of thrown and losing titles. So they just went and. So I'm going to SoCal and Censored. But they wanted to change during, for the Bull Club Civil War angle. With, and the new element of Flip Gordon when it's six man ties that. Change with the young bucks, they can do that. Yeah. But I'm going to still count on censor. Uh, what the fuck's all saying? Uh, <laughs> last year's Sandy Mash, Kenny King versus Silas Young. Uh, Kenny, Kenny King's the TV champion, right? Yes. And, it, and it's, is it for the championship? Last year's Sandy TV title match, yes. Uh, I'm going to go with Kenny King on this one. Uh, I don't think there's a reason to dr- for him to drop the belt yet, especially to Silas. I agree with you, but I'll, I'll pick Silas Young just to add some different reaction to this card. Okay. Uh, up next, that Orange World Championship, Dalton Castle versus Marge Skrull. Um, I'm going to go with Dalton keeping the belt. Yeah, he's on a roll right now as champion. He's going to bring match with Lethal at 16th anniversary. Then Mari should win the belt. This is Mari. Uh, but I'm going to keep on Bolton for now. Yeah. Uh, and... Yeah, I'm assuming this is the main event. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, that's got to be. Uh, and the main event, Cody versus K Omega. Uh, It's going to be weird say, saying this, that going by off of a YouTube show. Uh, but going off of being the elite, I think, story progression-wise, it seems more like the Civil War is going to be split Cody and then the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega on the other side. Yeah, I do agree with that. Uh, so I'm actually going to say Kenny wins this one. Because I think that's that's more of the progression they would go for. Uh so uh, just want to make sure I got all these moving parts correct here. Uh Kenny's uh, Kenny has a blue shield on his side. Marty is conflicted and confused. Ah, uh, Hangman's completely on Cody's side. Yes. Ah. Uh, the Bucks are sort of in the middle, but even the Bucks are kind of sort of separated. Well, Sean saw involved. Nick was with... Matt was with Cody, I believe it was. And yeah, it was Cody shot Nick after the, after the match against the Golden Lovers. Uh, 
and then uh, then there's the other group in Japan. They look Fale, Tama Tonga, Tonga Lola, and the rest of the gang mm -hmm. over there. That is that I think I think Tonga, Tama Tonga is on Omega's side. I I believe the rest of them, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think the storyline ends here. No. And I've been paying attention very long where Cody's the heel, correct? Yes. Okay, Cody wins some sort of cheap way to, to pick up the win, then. Okay. Oh. Uh, up next one, actually, take over New Orleans. Oh, wait, I wrote out my prediction for these, so I don't need the course. Okay. We have time for the NXT TakeOver. Yeah. On the video. Yeah, or... Oh, oh, okay. 11 minutes in. Okay, now this is our NXT TakeOver New Orleans predictions. Uh, for me, I did once... I've had to say something again, the Ring of Honor ones, I'll always say here. Uh, I think this might be the most loyal weekend of wrestling in wrestling history. It might be, yes. Uh, there's some at stake every match, and... I don't want to pass you on my progression, so so you don't take any ideas from me. Uh, these I go more in depth why I picked. Because I obviously follow the product more. Uh, there are two matches. Possibly for that could ultimately be the best match for me in a weekend, I think. Ah, uh, there's a lot to say, so I will just start with the NXT Women's title match. And Amber Bays. He's still going! Emma Moon versus Shane Baszler. That's fine. He, he's also developed Tourette's, too. Yeah, Emma Baszler. Because literally, he just came out of nowhere and said he's still going. Yes. Yes, he'll really dr Jim drones on in his Hall of Fame speech. And we're on our second card of the weekend for predictions. Yes. Wow, that was a great prediction for Emma Moon versus Shane Baszler. You, you didn't say the match! Yeah, I did! No, you went off. We went off in Hillbilly Gym, still talking. Every answer now, I, I said, I'm, I'm and we Shayna Baszler. Shayna. Uh, I don't think they should have her lose two takeovers in a row. Uh, that and I think Ember will probably be called up soon. Maybe not this week. Uh, she may get a rematch down the road, but I think it's going to lead to Ember being called up. Uh, of all the masters on takeover, this is probably the least appealing. That's like being number five on like the richest person at line list. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Woo. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm, uh, I'm waiting. You're so damn rich. Uh, there's been a fantastic story, and quite honestly, that has surprised me that it stayed interested in this long. Shane's getting better every time she's on TV, whether in the ring or on the mic. Ah. Uh. There's a case for each woman having challengers ready to go should they win the match. Uh, we haven't seen Iconic Duo on TV in quite some time, so. We just both women were getting Iconic Duo on their own. Uh, Duos. It's two sets. I don't know if Billy got that paid in that uh, I stand to be honest with Billy. Uh, they could be ready to put them in a title program member. Amber versus Kyra is a match that a lot of people like to see. Uh, so Shayna wins. Shayna will be a Kyra will also be a challenger, and I can see them doing a dual feud with uh, Lee Edna, not Lacey. Dakota Kai. Uh, probably all Dakota get hurt by Shayna. Uh, ultimately, there are going to be other title changes in my opinion. As we'll see later. And I don't think they're going to want every title to change things. I can see Amber Billy going by again. Because I do agree with Patty. You know, for weeks I've been pushing for Amber to cold up this week. And, and the, in the last few moments, when I'm putting these predictions together yesterday, I fall it over. I don't think Amber's getting cold up this week. I see Amber getting by again. And then in a few weeks on the TV, like we were mentioning in the NXT review, for a big match, mm -hmm. like Lars will kill you. Yeah. And a big match before somebody gets cold up. Uh, you do a third, third match of gimmick, like, a, I guess a submission, for all the time I had, and Shane gets it up there. It's just, I see a lot of times changing hands here, so I'm picking Amber to retain. Okay. 
Uh, if that will be the the triple threat NXT Tag Team Championship match, also the Dusty Rose Classic Finals. It's an over camera on Trump who done the Undisputed Era. I'm going to go with my pick being the Undisputed Era. Uh, just because being an awesome team, Roger Strong and Pete Dunne are a little, are thrown together, essentially. Uh, that, and I think you get something more interesting with them being opponents. Uh, and Authors of Pain are, in fact, going to be, are probably going to be called up, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm, I'm leaning towards Undisputed Era, uh, possibly, again, possibly with someone being added into the match instead of Adam Cole as, uh, Kyle's partner, but I think Undisputed Era is keeping their titles. Uh, first of all, it's been there for a couple of weeks now, Bobby Fish was hurt, but NXT, uh, decided to wait until this week to confirm it. Uh... I'm going to say I'm Cole Russell's this match, so. Hmm, alright. I think this has become the chance for him to finally prove to the WWE Universe for the one that down why he's one of the best wrestlers in the world, baby. Uh, there's not an easy double duty here, said Paul. Uh, he will absolutely have his working boots on. Uh, both matches are completely done for him. The ultimate will be ultra physical. And takes him, I think he's going to sell him to the challenge though if he does both matches. Uh, I. I, I, one thing I do want to complain about, though, which I rarely do with NXT, but I understand they booked this match on the fly due to Bobby's injury, but I don't like the fact that the Undisputed Error can win the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic Without being when they weren't even in the tournament. Good point, yeah. So that simulation leads you to believe that there's a clear... Maybe they're just trying to know that there's a clear sign that, they, that they're going to do a title change. Mm. So let me just get the obvious out of the way. AOP has been there on that. And yeah. everyone's going to be a let down day one the match. There's no yeah. next time. They've done all they could at NXT. Ever. Considering how bad the World Tag Team Division is looking right now, uh, they will make a huge impact on that brain. And post WrestleMania, so they're out. So that leaves Pete Dunne and Roger Strong. It's odd that it took a tag team tournament to get Pete Dunne more TV time. Yeah. I guess you could say. Ida has a tell that should warrant that on his own, but nonetheless, him and Brian have been a formal tag team. The crowd this past Wednesday was as loud as I've heard full seal when they competed. I guess AOP that wasn't anything giant or gone that sounds chomping really a yeah, long hair sign. Uh, and I think Norman was a loser my they won his match. Rye eventually needs to win Big Match NXT. Yeah. Or Big Match in general. And I will, true, yeah. I love to see P's a double champion, so I'm going with new tag champions and the winners of the best race I can place it. P. Don Roger Uh Up next, the NXT North American Championship ladder match. EC3 versus LT Dreamers, Adam Cole versus Tony Dean, Reverse Sullivan versus Ricochet. Um. This is the match I'm. I'm pretty. I'm not sure on, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um. Just because of what I think is going to happen in the main event, I'm going to say EC3 is not is probably not going to win the is probably not going to win the ladder match. Um, I'm a, I'm also going to say Lars and Killian probably take each other out. Okay. I, I don't I don't think they're getting it either. Um, Who am I missing? Adam Cole, Cole and, and Velveteen. And, and this is where it kind of gets a little tricky for me because I'm not, I'm not sure. I could see them giving the belt to Velveteen. Right. Uh, however, I think this belt was made. In the back of my head, I'm thinking this belt was made for Adam Cole. I don't know. Uh, just have him do something before so you can before you can clear up your main event seat. No problem. Um, then I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to go with Adam Cole. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say one moment for these six men. Because uh, this is the future rank C. I think no matter what happens in the social shakeup and the post-main call-ups, these six men will stay NXT. Yeah. Uh, 
And that's the reason they're in this match. Ah, uh, these six and her was actually tell match will be the core of the brand for the foreseeable future. Ah, uh, the beauty of this match though is I can make a case for everyone to win. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, yeah. Next match. Uh, I just made a case for everyone to win. There you go. My prediction is one of the six guys will grab a championship. Okay. I'm not gonna make a case for. I'm not gonna no, single no, way out. Then you don't get anything. I do everything. This is my Maybe basement. No. I as owner of this basement. I will do. No, you're not the owner of this basement. Well, uh, your I, mom is. As dressing a, in mom's basement. In parentheses, Joe's basement. Ah, uh, no, fine. No, mom's. You had the likes of EC3 and Ricochet. I forgot to get Ricochet to. I thought. Uh, uh, I I see him having a better chance. I see him better as someone chasing the belt. Okay. Uh, so the other likes of EC3 and Ricochet who will compete in NXT ring for the first time. And while Barry Shook is something they crowned him the first North American champion, Adam Cole's the best thing going in NXT, not naming Austin Black. And perhaps with Bobby Fish hurt, this is a chance to showcase Cole on his own by making him champion. Uh, Velveteen Dream, the cult hero, I guess, of source. Uh, the character that looked destined to feel, but was done by the right person at the right time, and now maybe he should be sent to that next level by becoming champion. Lars Sullivan, the monster heel, that they cleared up for playing store. Do they make him champion? How does sword become who can be from him? Killing Dane, much like I'm cold, is it possibly the time for him to spoil his own and see what he can do? Uh, this is such a hard match to predict. And ultimately, I hope it just leads to three strong fusion brain. Uh, I love to see EC3 versus Cole, Ricochet versus Veltine, and Lars versus Killian. So, yeah. coming out of this. Uh, I'm just going to take a wild guess, and because of the possibilities of him holding his title, I'm taking EC3. Mm, okay. Up next, unsanctioned match, Johnny Gargano wins. He's received by NXT. If he loses, it's out to Chamba wins. Johnny Gargano is banned from NXT. I think the stipulation sort of telegraphs it. Mm. Uh, either he wins it or he's gone forever, essentially. And I, and, and I think I have to go with that. I'm going to go with Johnny Gargano. Yeah. Uh, Chalmers injury can such an unfortunate time that this few were more likely to take in the late seven months of 2017 and NXT and been around over the year. Thanks to some great old school booking, though. Uh, this angle is no problem picking up a regular fault. It can now be the rivalry of the year for 2018. Yeah. It already is. I believe it can be for me anyway. I don't know about you, but. Uh, uh, oh, it's up there. Uh, it's really up there. Tomasa Chalmers has been using Twitter perfectly to further his personal agenda. Uh, seriously, go follow him if you don't. Yeah. Uh, Gargano's tacked his way outside the PC for Ciampa. Chased him down in his car. Swarmed in Ciampa's house at 3.30 in the morning. Wanted Ciampa to face him. It's just been in turn for self. I spent one hell of a fight. Ciampa has the easiest job in the world. of an, uh, Has the easiest job in the world this night. As Gargano's the best pure babyface in wrestling, I think I could safely say. Well... <laughs> Until somebody got milk clear. Yeah. Gargano was the best pure rave face in, rest, in, in, in wrestling. Yes. Uh, and there's no doubt the crowd's going to be right before giant wrestling. And anything Chompin does keep Gargano down is going to be the reaction. The story they had told in the Cruiserweight place was tremendous. And that was his friends. Uh, you replace that with the animosity they have now and let them do anything they want. There's a limit of how good this can be. There's a such time I should predict due to the fact that despite there being nobody swirling over, no matter what. No. Uh, and that does mean Gargano has to win. I think easily see scenario where Gargano loses, goes up to the main roster of 205 Live, and then Chomp and follows him there. I agree that Gargano is doing something positive still. I don't know that Gargano will ever win the NXT title, but I do know that even as also an underdog, he does need a big win at some point. This is that time that I'm young with Johnny Gargano. Okay. For me, I still trust this few more. On NXT. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, main event. Might not be main event. We might be looking at some Car of Honor situation. And Giant Chompa may be the main event. Usually, NXT sticks to their guns with the, the, championship. With the championship. That's why, I, that's why I put that in the main event slot. But, yeah. And I could easily change. I mean, because it'll take over War Games. War Games, well, was that the actual main event? Yes. Uh, okay, yeah. And be on the Sasha main event and take our respect. Well, there wasn't a title match on there. 
There was there wasn't an NXT title match on there. Finn was in the Dusty Classic. But War Games didn't name it. War Games did. Well, then again, it was also named after it. But you proved your own point wrong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, you, but usually they do stick to the title main events. Uh, on Johnny C. and Ahmed versus the Financial Championship against Allison Black. I'm going to go with Alistair on this one. Uh, I, I I think it's maybe a little bit more slam dunk than, it, than I think people th think it is. Uh, especially, again, going by the rumors of this weekend of uh, Andrade being called up. I, I think it's maybe even more reason to give it up to Alistair. Uh, that and Alistair's already lost once in NXT. Yes, Johnny. Uh, he lost clean by pinfall. He literally got pinned in a full yeah, yeah. way. Uh, so I think they're. So I think they're gonna give him another big match win for for uh, Black. Then I think there's an easy feud to set up with EC3 and Alistair. Oh, so that's why they pick you for EC3 is going straight to NXT Chain. Yes. But that's why. Okay. Ah. Uh, does anyone realize that this is the rematch? I know we told that. But does anyone realize that this is the rematch of the same pre WrestleMania takeover a year ago? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Well, hopefully you, you know, this is taped and then uploaded to YouTube. But so it's some time before they hear this. So they should probably answer. Uh, it, that was rude. Uh, That's right. Insult our audience. Well, just be honest. Like, hey, big ego, like, we gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, it's amazing to look at the trajectory of both guys since that night. Uh, Almas was in the middle of his to make everyone look good face. While he, while he learned who he was and got comfortable with that NXT style, not long later in that match, Selena Vega came into the picture and completely changed his career. I honestly cannot remember Magic being linked to a superstar changing her force since that recently. Yeah. Ever. And I've been watching wrestling for a good part of my 37 years on the surf. Or 27 years on the surf. Ah. Uh, uh, I jumped ahead of myself. By 10 years. Yes. I was close. It's that 2028. Ah. Uh, I honestly... But I honestly cannot remember Magic doing it that quickly. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, yeah. Almost would never sit the television before her. And now he's he's become a great champion character so well. His promos are sometimes a little bit of... Sometimes I have no direction. Uh, I'll go with his promos. His end promos sometimes. Yes. Uh, but he's clearly more confident than Billy's. And that's led to some tremendous matches. That's where Black on that night was quite clear that we were seeing something different last year. And some of that looked desperate for a big push. Uh, sure enough, I went to the year for him to fill the Finn Balor and Shisuke Nakamura roll the ring. The uh, rock star has the it factor that most others don't. Yeah. Uh, Black's so cool, I think he does. It's hard for us for him. Uh, he, he's the best thing going on the brain, in my opinion. And it should be his coordination as the guy. Um, there's going to be no shortage of challenges for Black. And Almas has no shame in dropping the title here. They will have a barn burner in the match. And Almas will be much better in standing than he was after <coughs> taking the singles a year ago. But it's, it's time for all us to fade in Black. So I'm going to go with Alistair. Uh, in the next video, are, we are WrestleMania 34 predictions. Yes, they Because we can't get 13 matches and a potential segment or match. That's not been announced yet. It's in five three. minutes. So, yes. four minutes. Yes. Four minutes, yeah. And if we're learning how, and Hillbilly Jim is still on, on the whole thing replay. That is friggin' amazing. This is 38 minutes of video. I mean, 30 minutes of video so far. He is still on. That is amazing. <laughs> if he's still on my WrestleMania, there's a good chance his, his speech went out were almost. But, uh... uh his speech might be longer than WrestleMania. Than the longest match I mean. Ah! <laughs> See you for the WrestleMania 34 productions. See you then.